In this episode, we'll look at connecting to Postgres from the edge. Now, if you're familiar with edge functions, you know that they have some limitations because they are distributed in this edge network kind of all over the world. They need to be very small and, you know, have some limits. And Postgres, you can actually only connect to with the TCP protocol. Um, now, this is one reason why at Superbase, we auto generate uh, a REST API for you. So we can give you a REST API, we can give you a GraphQL API, which allows you to, you know, communicate with your database through HTTPS, which is really handy, you know, if you want to do that uh, on the client side, on the server side, in an edge function, wherever, basically. But, you know, sometimes there's a scenario where you want to directly connect to the database. And with, you know, some edge functions, you might not be able to do that. But we're running Superbase edge functions on top of Dino Deploy. And there's actually a bunch of cool stuff that we can do here. So we can actually connect directly to our Postgres instance. So now let's have a look at what that means. So let's actually just copy out this code into a new function and then we can uh, have a look at it in detail. So let's create a new function, Superbase functions, new Postgres on the edge. And let's open this up in VS Code. So here is our new function Postgres on the edge. Let's go ahead and replace this. Here, uh, we actually have imports in our um, import map. So what we can do is we'll pull this out uh, into import map. If you don't know what an import map is, um, then you can watch the previous episode on it. And so we're just going to call this uh, Postgres. Uh, Postgres imported here. And so once we have that in here, what we can actually do is we can update uh, this to Postgres. Uh, and then for this also, we have an import uh, standard server. Uh, so we can use that. So what we'll need next is our database URL. Uh, so, you know, ideally, we'd put that into um, a .env file. So let's create a new file, call it .env. So we can get our database URL from uh, our dashboard. So if we go to project settings, database, um, and we can actually scroll down here to a URI to get our connection string. And then we'll put that into um, our .env file. And so here I've created a table um, called animals and I have one ID, uh, one created a timestamp and one animal called lion in here. And so now we have our database URL and then what we can do is we can um, open a new connection pool here uh, to the database. And um, we can then in our server, so anytime a request comes in, uh, we can uh, create the connection. Uh, so we connect our pool uh, into our connection. And then what we can do is we can run our query. So here we'll just run um, SQL. Obviously, you know, don't use any user input into your function to run SQL. That's something you really want to avoid. So if you're not familiar with kind of sanitizing user input and SQL and things like that, then maybe stop here and actually use uh, Superbase JS instead. But we're just looking at this here, kind of theoretically how we can directly connect to uh, Postgres from our edge function. Uh, now, actually, let's call this animal. Um, and then we will 
just um, stringify our um, results here. So maybe let's actually do a console console.log of our um, animals. Actually, it's, it would be animals wouldn't be. Um, yeah, because uh, animals and then we'll just return that here. So let's give that uh, a save and uh, actually run superbase functions serve. So we want to serve our function locally. It is called Postgres Postgres on the edge and we want to use our env file which is coming from superbase functions postgres on the edge dot env okay let's start this up our process is started and we are um, listening so now what we can do is um, we can see here our functions so this is our api url and then in order to call functions we can say functions slash v1 and then what's we'll a postgres on on the edge uh, and yes one thing here is if we're calling this um, directly we actually need to pass another flag um, we'll say no JWT verify so that way we don't need to um, and I know verify JWT is the actual name of it okay let's do that no verify JWT and we're getting an error here do not know how to serialize a big int so we can actually look at um, this here so our console log was um, correct you know we, we we got that here so we got to this point where we actually got our data and we got our animals back but now the problem is um, this one here json.stringify so in our response actually this id here uh, you can see is uh, a big int and so uh, json.stringify does not know how to um, deal with that but one thing that is um, pretty cool is actually we have uh, json.stringify has um, a replacer method so what we can do is actually we can put in a function here that takes the key and the value and then we can do um, we can say type of type of value equals um, big int then we need to return value dot to string and otherwise we just return the value okay, that needs to be big int there we are okay so now we're just um, checking this uh, and I think now if we reload this we get our uh, results back so this is actually pretty cool um, Jason stringify has this replacer method um, where we can actually modify the values um, within so I think that might be a nice snippet to have learned um, but then also yeah we have learned that we can directly connect to Postgres from our Superbase Edge functions and I think that's pretty cool so thank you for tuning in and I see you next time Bye -bye.